Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, we've had a pretty good start to the day. It's not going to be as good to end the day unless you want to see a little rain and snow. And we are going to be seeing some snow flying later on tonight, too. Might be nice if you don't have to get out in it. I mean, just kind of look out the window, see the snowflakes falling, and we are going to have that. And we're going to see some snow falling, too, at times on Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. It's certainly going to be a lot colder out there, and it's colder today. Even though it's not terrible right now, we're at 41 degrees at the Evansville Airport. As we look at our superior ag camera, of course, that is on top of the Deaconess Gateway, looking out toward the east side of Evansville. Still a bit of a breeze. We've had a breeze all day, and it's not going to be a big wind, but big enough, 10 to 20 miles an hour. So the wind chill is going to be a factor as well again today. Uh, we're still seeing a little bit of blue hanging on in downtown Owensboro, and we're getting the sunshine down upon Smothers Park. Love to see that. And looking out toward a few fair weather cumulus clouds, and now we've got pretty slate gray sky headed our way. Uh, that is, of course, downtown Evansville. Our Zemo Funeral Home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. And our final stop, our Heads Construction camera, which has had the jitters all day. Looks remarkably steady right now, though. Uh, northbound traffic is rolling along. Always a nice sight there. And all right, here are the numbers at the airport. Farther north up 41. 41 degrees on Highway 41. Uh, north, south wind, or southwest wind at 10 miles an hour. And it's going to, again, be southwest 10 to 20 throughout the day. And as we look at the temperatures across the board, how low can we go? Let's see if we can do a run. I don't see a 37 out there. I see, yeah, dude. 36 degrees in Florida. Got to go outside the tri state to Mount Vernon, Illinois. We'll do it. Uh, 37 degrees right there. 38 Vincennes, 39 in Princeton. 40 degrees, 40, 40. Big 4 0, big 4 0. No 40, are you kidding me? Oh my God, look at all the 40. We got 41 in Jasper, 41 Evans, 41 degrees in Morganfield. Got 42 Dixon, 43 Tell City, 44 degrees Owensboro, 45 Calhoun. If only for a 40. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, wind speed wise, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Got a 20 mile per hour sustained wind in Vincennes right now. 13 Morgan Field, 13 Henderson, uh, 14 Owensboro, 14 Jasper. When you factor that in, feels like 33 in Jasper right now. Got a few wind chills below freezing even still. 31 Henderson, 31 Morgan Field. That feels like 30 degrees right now in Carmine as we get closer to this Friday afternoon. Lifers warning Doppler radar showing a few returns on radar snow, and we're going to be seeing at times mixed with rain as the temperature warms up a little bit and as the system works its way into some warmer air. But we're all going to be chilling out by the end of the afternoon. And I really think we're going to be seeing the transition to just a little bit of a mix coming to just plain snow before the sun goes down. The sun is setting these days, by the way, around 5 o'clock. Of course, we won't see the sunset tonight, unfortunately. We've got a lot of clouds headed our way after a beautiful sunrise this morning. You can see that counterclockwise spin of the low, and it's pretty much going to be moving right over top of uh, St. Louis and then Evansville later on tonight. If you wake up at around midnight tonight with a headache, it's because the center of the low pressure is going to be right on top of us here in the tri-state then. Well, we've got, to, again, a little rain-snow mix expected this afternoon here in Evansville. It looks like mid-afternoon, then changing, though, before, again, for most of us anyway, it's going to be changing over to all snow as we head into late afternoon, early evening, and then some snow showers over the course of the night tonight. We could see some minor accumulations. We're talking about less than an inch out there, but still, I mean... From what we've seen in the past two winters, I mean, less than an inch, even if it's a half an inch, that's something, right? As we take a look at Saturday, maybe a few showers, snow showers popping up, but mainly just some flurries out there. Then we have another round of snow that's going to be moving in. It looks like on Sunday, we could see some slick roads late tonight. I don't think your afternoon commute is going to be a problem whatsoever. The ground temperatures, the road temperatures in particular, are just a little bit too warm for that. But as the colder air continues to pour in, we could be seeing... And if we get a few snow showers, some heavier snow showers, that could drag some colder air in as well. We might see some accumulation on some of the roads uh, tonight, late, and then also on Sunday night. Anyway, as far as snowfall amounts, anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch is what our future track is cranking out in a lot of locations. So here we go with a little bit of snow. Uh, that's actually bumped up. Let me go back on that real fast. That's actually bumped up just a little bit from what we have seen of late. Uh, the earlier runs on Future Track were showing most of us right there in that tenth to two tenths of an inch range. Now it's indicating up to the northeast, maybe a little bit more than that half inch. Anyway, forecast for today: a little rain and snow this afternoon. Again, changing over to snow as we head into evening, and then some snow showers later on tonight. Pretty good breeze from the southwest at ten to twenty. We're in the forties. A lot of us are right now, and I think a lot of us are going to be seeing our high temperature over the next hour. Or too, before the, more, uh, the thicker clouds start to move in, that temperature plateaus and it starts to fall a little bit as we head through the afternoon. And as we look at the next seven days, temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s for a high tomorrow and Sunday with a pretty good breeze out there both days again, right around 10 to 20 miles an hour. 
And a cold start to next week, uh, but then we are going to be warming up close to 50. In fact, I think we do hit 50 degrees plus on Thursday. And again, both days over the weekend, we could see some flakes falling out there. Sunday night, <laughs> might be seeing a pile up just a little bit like little we bit, could see right. later tonight. So. That's all we're going to get though right now. Yeah, I, mean, I know, not a big deal. Oh, look at that. This is a big deal. This was Mesa Lake, beautiful. which is just outside of Mount Carmel. Norm Klein got a beautiful sunrise this morning. And of course, reflecting off the lake just, just enhances it Love even it. more. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's beautiful. Good job, Norm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ron. We'll hope for just a little bit of snow tonight yep. and over the weekend. And we'll be right back with more local lifestyles right after this. Don't go anywhere.